Oh, and we begin this hour with that rare earthquake happening along the Northeast. The 4.8 magnitude quake shaking parts of New York City and the surrounding areas this morning, really shocking the country's largest city and bringing some airports to a halt along the East Coast. President Biden is expected to comment on this morning's quake once he lands in Baltimore. He is there today to tour the bridge collapse. The U.S. Geological Survey reporting the epicenter of this quake near White House Station, New Jersey. That's about 45 miles west of New York City. It's about 50 miles to the north of Philadelphia. Let's bring in correspondent Laura Engel, who is live in New York City, has been following this all morning. So, Laura, kind of explain where we're at at this point. Well, at this point, people are comparing stories here on the streets of New York City. And, of course, uh, a very jarring episode earlier this morning around 1020 uh, when we got that 4.8. It's a very mm -hmm. unusual occurrence here, as you mentioned. Uh, and as we look around us, we've got scaffolding, we've got cranes. There's a lot of construction. A lot of people have been concerned uh, about the people that are working those types of jobs, window washers that are up, uh, all those stories uh, for the these high rise buildings. So, uh, in terms of damage, the only thing that we can report here uh, from Manhattan is from that cafe that's over my shoulder. Uh, we've been telling you about the uh, chandelier that fell down. There are, uh, there were six chandeliers this morning uh, hanging from the ceiling in there. Now there are five. The one that came crashing down on the tables, uh, thankfully, did not have anybody underneath them sitting at that table. So everybody's okay in that central cafe. Right now, I'm standing outside of Grand. Central Station. We've been talking to people who have come from all over the region here to New York City. We just heard from Louisa about 20 minutes ago. We played that sound for you where she talked about, you know, not knowing what was going on inside of her home, getting ready, feeling things starting to move around. We just got in a new piece of video I want to play for you. This is from a coffee shop in New Jersey. I want you to listen to it. You can hear a little girl talking to her mother, asking her what's going on. You won't believe what she said. Listen. Are we going to die? That is how scared that child was. That is how scared many people have been of uh, feeling this for the very first time. People who are here from the West Coast know that it comes out of nowhere when you get an earthquake. And of course, then you've got the aftershock fear that's going on right now. We've been told that, you know, everything seems to be okay. You just never know when that's going to happen. Earlier this morning, we told you about ground stops happening at some of the local airports. We've just been told that what was happening at JFK Airport is now back up and operational. So everything's okay there. Everything has been fine at LaGuardia, Newark, New Jersey, uh, has had some ground stops as well today. Uh, we have been hearing from the mayor, from the governor, uh, people being told, that we're all being told to just be aware, have a plan in place. If you feel rumbling again, you know, protect your head and your neck. And as uh, I, I have to keep saying it because I'm from California and this is it brings us all back to you know those schoolhouse drills that we had where we had to get under desks uh, in our youth and practice getting ready for an earthquake people are being told that same sort of preparation right now today if it happens again get yourself stay inside schools are putting out tweets and telling people to be careful and to stay indoors if they do feel an aftershock so we will continue to bring you more as it comes to us throughout the day here on the streets of New York. Nicole. All right, uh, Laura Engel live for us there in New York City. Laura, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.